RepublicTimes.net is bringing you two new products this spring. While you are browsing the daily scores and your favorite team sports page, be sure to check out our new RT Savers coupon page. For this month only, we are giving you a buy two, get one free coupon. Use it on the winter sports photos. Also new to the RT is the RT Classifieds Marketplace. Think Craigslist, but safer, more convenient, and right here in your hometown. Try it today for free. It's free to browse and buy, whether you're cleaning out your garage, selling goods out of your home or business, or an antiques enthusiast. The RT Classifieds Marketplace is just for you. Well, this year we have uh, Michaela Muick, who's a senior forward. She was our leading goal scorer last year. Um, talked to me to yesterday, I would have told you, Hannah O'Neill also. Right now she had a, a knee injury last night, and she's getting an MRI done today. She was our second leading scorer, so we expected a lot from her. She's a sophomore, um, but so she's kind of up in the air for the rest of the year, but we'll see. We're hoping and praying that she's back. But um, We have our goalkeeper back, Kendra Davis. She's a junior. Uh, we have returning starter, uh, senior Katie Lamack. Um, in the back we have Lizzie Kurz, uh, we have Courtney Olson, um, we have Bree Hasenstab are all returning players. And then the rest of the starting spots are taken out by freshmen right now. I feel like our team has really good success this year and will have good success because we've only lost one and was against Belleville East, which was a really close game, which I think we could have won. but. For the most part, we're doing really good and I'm very impressed with our team. We've got about five or six returning starters and then the rest um, are freshmen. And there's about seven or eight freshmen that get quality minutes, so we're a fairly young team too. I have eight players who I'm very comfortable with playing varsity and it's not because we um, don't have anyone else to put there, it's because they're deserving of those spots. Our, I think our communication is actually pretty good and our team chemistry is a lot better than it was last year and really that is really important to be a good team. I think it's been pretty good. We have two freshmen so they're getting in like the groove of the new formation and I've never played defense before so it's new to me too. So we really only have one defender who played last year and she's a sophomore. Our defense is not quite where it needs to be. Uh, we're not as organized as we need to be in the back, but that's going to come with time when we have a freshman, sophomore, freshman, sophomore across the back. Um, that's going to take a lot of communication and a lot of playing together just to get used to each one another and communication. Um, as far as our attack goes, we haven't got Michaela enough involved yet. Um, Hannah O'Neill uh, has done well the first two games, but then of course then she's injured yesterday. So. We'll see how we do without her. Uh, she got hurt pretty, pretty early and we still scored two goals against Highland uh, without her. Um, so being able to adapt without her and other weapon offensively is, is something we'll need to get used to too. But um, through three games, um, I'm about where, I ex where we were expected to be. So Our defense has been stronger. We're, we're not really getting the whole clicking thing, but we, they communicate well. And so when we have like, um, uh, heavy offense on the other team and defense pulls through and they've been very good and then our communication has just been outstanding and it's just good and we click well really like really well. Talent wise we're not hurting any defensively so even though we're young um, I'm not expecting us to give up too many. Um, there's a few things like I said organizational and communication that we might need to uh, sure up but I think actually the strong point especially without if Hannah can't go the rest of the year I think our defense might actually end up being our strong point we're going to rely a lot heavily on, on, on Michaela to do uh, some scoring. But uh, Courtney Olson's still there, and she's a returning starter. And then Abby Hasenstab and, and Maddie O'Neill will surprise some people as freshmen, too. So I think that we're really fast, and I do think most people know that. But our team has got speed up top, and that's going to benefit us in the long run. Our goal is always uh, a regional championship. And last year, a uh, loss in the regional to Columbia. Um, so I think. I'm hoping that uh, it comes c kind of back to us and we have that fire and it's kind of like the boys did this last year to, to, uh, to beat Columbia in the regional championship and then now the same thing for girls, we might have been in th the same way. Um, so I think some of them are pretty excited and pretty, um, I guess, passionate about what we can do this year. I think a regional championship is a good, is a good start um, and then we'll go from there. I want to go farther. I feel like our team can go farther. Um, my goal right now is just take it one game at a time, not 
put goals, like I have goals, but not to like set anything in stone, like I want to win Rachel's, go to sectionals and stuff like that. I just want to play it by ear. We want to win. We want to win. Just beat them. Simple as that. I think it's the, the freshmen, they're, they have made such an impact on our team so far and they're just going to keep pulling through through the rest of the season. And most surprised is that people don't really take Chippo soccer, girls soccer in that case, seriously. So since I feel like we're going to have good success, people are going to be impressed with us and it'll look good. For more on this year's spring sports, pick up a copy of the March 20th Republic Times Spring Sports Preview with team photos, stories, schedules, and more.